think you could convince Mayor to let um, you get a van like this? I, I'm actually, I have my eye on something else right now. Oh. Can't tell you what it is. Are you sure? I mean, I can tell you, but I can't tell your camera. All right, tell me. What's going on everyone back with another episode of stuff and things i'm still in southern texas today and everyone was telling me to come visit some ranch i was like what is this ranch that everyone keeps talking about i found it and i found a tour guide as well hey <laughs> what's up man not much good How to meet you? you i'm good good i'm glad you came uh also your van is nice and all but it's got nothing on mine Oh, can, can we get a tour of this thing yeah, first yeah, yeah. before I've, we talk I've about the range? Just like you've done some things to yours, <laughs> I've done some things to mine. I'm like, what's up with the van? He's like, we're, we're just trying to keep up with you. I don't know, man. I don't think I can compete with this thing. Dude, you should paint your van gold. What if I wrap it? Wrap like, it like, like a chrome like gold. Like a chrome gold, yeah. I don't want to. I don't want to scratch it up. Yeah, yeah. Watch the paint. Watch the paint. <laughs> <laughs> this is rattle can. Uh, this is actually some flex seal. We we accidentally put a bullet hole through it. This thing's been hit with two bullets so far. Accidentally put a bullet through it. Well, that one was kind of on purpose. <laughs> but the, the one on the other side was an accident. Uh, this one was, uh, he's a YouTuber as well, Outlaw, you know him? Yeah, yeah. Outlaw did that one on purpose. Uh, Nick Irving, the Reaper, did the other one on accident. <laughs> um, but yeah, she's got a hood scoop, so extra little airflow in there, you know? Uh, yeah. I mean, it doesn't actually connect and it's just stuck on, but like but air does flow around it. still horsepower, right? Yeah, we got, uh, we got a spoiler on the top to keep the downforce, you downforce. know, when we, when we get going really fast. <laughs> this is from the last video where we're curving bullets. We just thought it looked cool. Sort of like a bull bar. Yeah, I mean, you've, got that, out of the way. you've got that big uh, push bar on the front of yours, so we thought we'll just make ours gold and put it on the front of ours. Yeah, yeah, it looks good. That's pretty much all the mods. I dig the, the emblem there. Yeah, yeah, Chrysler all the way. <laughs> right, is this a, what is this? It's a sport wagon, duh. Sport wagon. <laughs> Uh, I know it's a Mopar, but I'm not sure what it actually is. Is it a Dodge <laughs> Caravan or what? Dodge Grand Caravan SE. SE. Yeah, watch out. Special edition, is that what that is for? No idea. Well, that's your paint. <laughs> Maybe we could take that can and just rattle can my van real quick. Just the bumper. So this is a new location where you're going to be filming stuff. Yeah, we've been filming here for a few months now. Um, it's really working out pretty well. It's looking good, man. Thanks. It's kind of trashy right now. Like, we have like all the old stuff that we've shot, like the bucket and the trash, I mean the uh, bucket and the toilet and the fire hydrant and everything, but I want to try to figure out a way to make those like look cooler and not so trashy, but I haven't figured it out yet. The prison toilet is a nice touch. Prison toilet, yeah. I definitely like that. Unfortunately for you guys, we're probably not going to be shooting or doing anything. I was legit passing through and just hit Matt up. I was like, hey man, people are going to be pissed if I don't come visit, so. <laughs> Thanks for having me out. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And, and it's cool to, to finally have, see this place. Do you have a gun? Man. I do. You could fire around or something. Do you want to shoot something? Yeah. All right, let me go grab it. You think you could convince Mayor to let um, you get a van like this? I, I'm actually, I have my eye on something else right now. Oh. Can't tell you what it is. Are you sure? I mean, I can tell you, but I can't tell your camera. All right, tell me. Uh, but it's awesome. It's a Oh. It's so it only has And they made it. You get all the cool, the cool ones, man, here. Oh, thanks. Yeah. I mean, have you shot a honey badger before? No, never have. All right, well, I think you'll enjoy it. I bet so. How about it? So we need to get those adjusted, <laughs> obviously. That's pretty sweet. I like it. These actually do work pretty damn well. I'm surprised. <laughs> That's really surprising. I'm more surprised about these than I am that your ears aren't ringing right now. Yeah, she's <laughs> you want to shoot the rest Yeah. I should have brought something to blow up. It's, that's so on Demolition Ranch of me. <laughs> Man, I like that. So I have a 300 blackout pistol as well, but I like this one more. Yeah. I have the SIG, uh, what's it called? The uh, Rattler? Yeah, SIG Rattler. Yeah. And what I don't like about, I mean, I think the SIG's great, but my buttstock is just not as nice as this. And so the buttstock, like, it's a pistol buttstock and it rotates around and yeah, this thing's sweet. Simple, because it's just one position, it's just out and length of pull is decent. Yeah. Go bowling? You wanna blow this yeah. up already? Yeah. 
Yeah, that's pretty sweet. <laughs> I think I need a. I need to get my 300 blackout with a better stock on it. Completely unprepared, but I'm glad I could bring something that was at least somewhat fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know if you had anything. We we're gonna have to shoot this thing if you didn't, which is not as fun as this. Yeah, so. that can't be as fun. <laughs> 365. Yeah. yeah. I love it. Air Cortina from Texas Bar Dominium. <laughs> and Talon Sai, did I get it right? That's right. That's Nailed right. it. What's up, man? Talon came down. Talon's a YouTuber as well. And he came down with this thing. Can you just tell me about this? One wheel. Have you ever ridden one of those? No. Do you want to ride one on the vlog? Probably shouldn't, but okay. Okay. <laughs> he just asked me if I wanted a tutorial and I said, nah. I figure you just lean, right? Sort of. Oh, oh yeah, that's, that's scary. <laughs> Pretty good, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. Natural. Hey. All right, you do it now. <laughs> Yeah, it's good for off-road too. Oh, cool. Kick flip. <laughs> it's going fast. It's fun to shoot from too. Like, practice <laughs> shooting drills like this. Some people die. Yeah. Well, Talon is on his way somewhere else in West Texas, right? West Texas, probably gonna go to Big Bend National Park and Sweet. then I guess to New Mexico after that. Thanks for stopping by, man. Yeah, it's good man. seeing you. Thanks for having me. You can find him right here. All right, one more thing before we go. Matt's gonna give us a quick tour of the barn that Eric is building. So this is the Demolition Ranch headquarters, the Demo HQ. Uh, yeah, it's, it's actually pretty simple. It's a small little metal building. And uh, what is it? It's a 14 by, how big is it? Well, the 14 overall, by 24. Overall footprint is 24 by 24, but yeah. 10 of it is porch. The so. inside part is 14 by 24. Correct. And, and if they want to see the build, like time lapse stuff, your channel, right? Actually, both. Yeah, you can both? go to Texas Barn okay. If you want like subpar videos, I would say his is probably good. But if you want like the <laughs> the really good stuff, that'd be here. Oh. So if you want popular videos, you can go to his. If you know you want to see a video where people, the, the host actually knows what he's talking about, you can see mine. Yeah, like boring technical videos. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so you're gonna house ammo, spray paint, yeah. right? Yeah, probably. <laughs> probably. Yeah, so it'll have like all the the needed stuff for us to make videos, plus like a little a little hangout area just so we can sit there and make ideas. Like there's a ton of brainstorming that goes in the YouTube videos, obviously. And we just thought it'd be cool if we had a little air conditioned room to do it in. And we'll have a little mini fridge in there with some drinks and stuff like that. And then duct tape and baling wire and all the, the essentials, spray paint. Sick, man. I see the vision already. Yeah. That's exciting. All right, dude. Well, thanks for having me. For sure. It's good thanks to see you. Me. Good to meet you. Thank you. All right, guys, back on the road again. I hope you enjoyed that quick pit stop. So many of you have been asking for me and Matt to meet up, and we had to make it happen. So that basically like rounds out my Texas experience. If you don't know Matt, you probably live under a rock, but I'll link his channel in the description down below. Matt, if you're watching this, huge thank you for the hospitality, and hopefully in the future, once we both have more time, we can link up and film something a little more intensive. Maybe some more explosions, some more dangerous stuff. Not dangerous, but more demo ranch style stuff, you know? So now I'm heading west towards Western Texas. I'm on Interstate 10 for 250 miles. I'm heading to a very small town known as Marfa. I told Matt I was going there and he goes, why? I don't really have a good answer for that, but I'm heading to Marfa, Texas tonight. I'm gonna spend the night there. And then tomorrow in the morning, if I head just south of there, I will run into Big Bend National Park. This will be pushing me closer to the part of Texas that is basically Mexico, so it'll start to get a little bit more deserty, a little drier, which I'm definitely looking forward to. And we'll finally start to be in a place that is a little less flat and a little more mountainous. Have you guys ever seen a complete 250 mile time lapse all in one shot? I think we're about to find out what that looks like. Oh, <laughs> oh,
Well, I've made it to my destination for tonight. And this is what I'm talking about now. We are out here in the middle of nowhere in a very small town called Marfa, Texas. This is the part in the trip where we're really getting into some like weird remote destinations and I found this place that I'm staying at tonight online. I got a hookup for the AC because it is like 100 degrees out right now, but it's finally not as humid out here because it's essentially like a desert. The sat van fits right in with a lot of these little travel trailers are sort of floating around here. You will not see any Class A's parked out here, at least not tonight. And one thing that Marfa is known for is something called the Marfa Lights. I'm about maybe five minutes away from a viewing area of these lights, and we're gonna check that out as soon as the sun goes down. That thing is up there. We're gonna be here for a while. Well, we tried. That's as good as it's gonna get. I didn't see any lights, nothing that was like out of the ordinary that we couldn't explain. There was a lot of people there and no one seemed to like ooh and ah or gasp that they saw anything. So, unfortunately, no Marfa lights. That being said though, I still believe that there absolutely is something out there that makes some sort of light or why would they have a whole thing like building built on the side of the road that's for viewing the Marfa lights, unless it's just like a tourist thing, tourist trap to get people to come to Marfa and check it out. I don't know, but it was cool nonetheless. It's uh, almost midnight now, and I spent the whole time there not even really looking for the lights because after about an hour, we all sort of gave up, but I met a cool family who was there. So shout out to John, Molly, Crash, and Brandon. They saw the van on the way in and then they searched talent sigh on instagram and youtube and they found out everything that i was about so we had some cool conversations they're into skiing and all sorts of stuff like that so i showed them the van they claimed some patches up there it's getting a little barren i should probably put some more up there and i think that's where today's video is going to come to an end i only have about an hour and a half drive from where i'm at right now to big bend national park so i'm probably going to sleep in tomorrow Regardless, you guys are going to get a video, so if you want to follow along with the journey, if you want to see Big Bend National Park and the rest of the country as I'm exploring it, consider clicking subscribe. I make new videos every single week. It's going to be all for today, so as always, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you in the next one.